These eyes have witnessed revolution, the awakening of the culture, the survival of the fittest defending themselves against the vultures, the exploiters, the politics within the borders, making sure the rich get rich and the poor get poor. From slum gods to billionaires, who really cares about the young b-boys and b-girls standing over there with a few rupees and a dream? Celebrate the Connections was an initiative created by Culture Vistas and the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. The idea behind the program was to bring together U.S. and Indian artists in the urban arts and select six U.S. artists to travel across India for two weeks to perform, collaborate and teach. The Celebrate the Connections program is personally for me, it was a very rewarding experience to have worked on because I was able to incorporate different uh, parts of the world that I'm very excited about working with, um, and then a topic that excites me greatly, which is hip-hop and urban arts, which was very influential. It was a very unique project. We received applications from all over the US um, of various artists. The categories that we focused on for this program was um, spoken word, hip-hop dance, uh, percussion, and visual arts, and we received a multitude of applications. It was very difficult to select the finalists, but we um, we had a process, we, um, we met up and discussed the different categories and selected um, participants who would fill in each of those categories. So we ended up with six participants um, that represented the diversity of the United States in terms of art forms, um, geography, backgrounds, um, experience levels, ages. And we uh, came up with these six participants. <coughs> My experience in India was one of the most wonderful, incredible, powerful uh, experiences that I have ever, ever had in my entire life. Especially for me as an artist, it was very visual. From the time that I landed in Calcutta, I immediately was inspired by the landscape, inspired by the people, the smells. Um, just, the, the, just pretty much as stepping in India, I was already very much inspired by India as a whole. My experience throughout the Cultural Connections program was wonderful. I met a lot of great artists. Um, we had the best time together. Uh, from all the people we met, connections we made, uh, just just the country in itself, it's so sense heightening, right? All of my senses were heightened at the same time. Meeting new artists from different walks of life, uh, different ethnicities, different backgrounds, uh, different art forms, and all of this coming together at a common platform. Getting to know new people is always adventurous. Uh, sharing sites and culture and art and becoming friends from strangers was quite a pleasant journey. It was a fantastic experience. My primary collaboration was with another Indo-US percussionist by the name of Neil Agarwal, based out of LA. We had an intense Skype conversation which uh, almost didn't end um, and we just carried on from So my trip to India through Cultural Vistas was, like I said, a once in a lifetime experience. Now more than ever, it's important for artists across the world to work together so that we can not only create new styles and new forms of expression, but we can also get to know each other and each other's cultures and hopefully create a forum where we can address some of the most important issues facing our global community today. He only shows up at the 72nd hour and tells me it's time for resurrection. I got to teach this workshop and there were kids rapping in Hindi, right? So I do this thing where I give uh, seven words and you have to put all seven words in the poem. And to see these kids just like 
freestyling, rapping, and Hindi, and I'm like, what is going on? It was so amazing. Someone was translating it, but I was just like, wow. And then there was this really dope kid. I wanted to bring him home with me, and he uh, was like the most amazing beatboxer, better than Dougie Fresh, better than everyone else. And I'm just like, oh my God, he, he's great. <laughs> history of hip hop and urban arts in each of those in each of the countries the US and in India um, it was almost sort of a natural fit hip hop really became a thing here in the US in the 70s um, the the term hip hop wasn't really coined until the early 80s um, and it's sort of taken on its own life in the last couple of decades um, Hip-hop became more influential in the Indian art scene in the 2000s and so that sort of 20-year span um, I think where hip-hop grew and evolved in the US and really started to influence all kinds of things including different sorts of urban arts, dancing, graffiti art, uh, spoken word, those kinds of things are very evident in Indian culture um, and the way that hip-hop has been incorporated into those art forms in India in the past 10, 15, 20 years. Um, I think it just made the, the places ripe for each other to have artists from each of the countries um, get to know a bit about each other. Would have to be any time we worked with uh, the children in India. I mean, we'd walk into a room or where, whatever venue we had and their faces would just light up. They were so happy and so excited to see us and they're smiling and clapping and waving and I'm smiling and clapping and waving right back to them uh, because it was an experience for me too. And I was just so grateful to be there with them and they were grateful to be there with me. And it was, an, it was just a great uh, exchange of energy. You know, I always felt best and, and my authentic self when I was around uh, any of the children in India. So yeah. Uh, I've seen b-boys and b-girls from India display the same passion, the same heart as any of the other b-boys and b-girls in the U.S. would have. Being at um, Dharavi and, and seeing their living conditions was really hard, but um, seeing what comes out of a place like that. Just like with hip hop and how it came up in the Bronx. You know, it came up from poverty, it came from youth, it came from the kids. You know, similar thing to what's happening over there. What I found amazing is to see the exchange in action. You, I could really feel um, during all the performances and the workshops and the collaboration that um, there was a true exchange happening between the Indian artists and the US artists in a very fundamental level. Um, they learned a lot from each other. Um, there was such amazing energy and um, amazing exchange of art forms, of inspirations, of finding new language together. Um, it was absolutely fantastic and really, really fulfilled the goal that we had in mind for this program to use urban arts and hip hop to create two cultures and find a uh, common language for to address all the struggles that we are addressing as um, the oldest democracy in the world and as the largest democracy in the world and using hip-hop as a connector and that I definitely saw in the program. So if I can explain in two words how um, this experience for all of us has really made us fully, fully achieve our goal of cross-cultural connections, it would be two words. It would be experimentation and exploration. Um, I don't think we got to, we were able to say thank you enough to everyone at Cultural Vistas that made this possible. Uh, we are all honored and humbled uh, by the work that you put in and our lives are forever changed by this experience. So again, thank you to everyone at Cultural Vistas. Thank you to Katia, thank you to Lee uh, for making that trip last minute and being there with us. Um, thank you to my team, the Celebrate the Connections team. Uh, I think we've made a bond uh, that's gonna last a really, really long time. And we made these connections and we, we're still in touch with each other. And, uh, and, and so yeah, I'm definitely gonna represent uh, no matter where I go, especially when I go back. You already know how we do. Base camp! <laughs> Each region has its own culture, its diversity, its history, its art forms, and there are so many ways to explore and to bring people together. And I'm happy that we already started one. This is one opportunity that impacted dozens of people. 
with further opportunities, we could impact thousands. Those thousands could impact millions. That's the power of international exchange.